And now we're to this. Now we're to like, okay, <laughs> let's talk about, okay, the first time Trump did something, everyone advised him, look, you got to get some people that know government. Get yeah. them in there. Get them in there. Kelly, Bill Barr. Uh, they had all these people and all those guys, all those guys have bailed on them. Yeah. They were like, we're from the, Mike Pence. Fuck you. We're not we're helping you. They're gone. They're gone. 40 out of 44 people that were in his cabinet said, no, 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 he's evil. He's an idiot. And he, and, and so, well, now we were just talking about who does he have now? He's got, he's got, uh, Steve uh, Bannon is Steve back. Steve Bannon's Bannon out of prison. He's he got out of prison, prison just back. in time to to set the country on fire. He still has Miller. So Stephen Miller, so Stephen oh. Miller, who's who's like oh, Stephen Miller, who's Jewish, by the way. Yeah. Um, and <clears throat> he's got JD's Vance, whose wife is an, is an immigrant, uh, Indian. And she, uh, I mean, she's an immigrant. She Indian. I think her family is. And then and then you've got it goes JD Vance, who's also a clown. It, and then you got Roger Stone, clown. And you got these this list RFK of, Jr. RFK Jr. Oh, who's going to be in charge no! of our health? No, how can that be? Yeah. He's he's anti-vax and he's, he's going to be in charge of vaccines. Yep. What the fuck? Well, it, it's an interesting thing because here's how here's how I. What, what, what? <laughs> he's rubbing That's his like temples. Dumb. By the way, he just did the he just did the picture of America today. Just yeah. what the fuck are we doing? What the well, fuck are we doing? Here's what makes no sense. We've always been a, a, a reactionary country. Amen. Always. Something bad happens. We don't think it through. We don't think it through. We're reactionary. We're going to fix it and make sure it doesn't happen next time. We're gonna, and we're going to put a lot of bodies in front of it till we fix it. Right. Exactly. So we're not we're not very proactive. We're, we're reactionary. So in 2016, when he won, everyone was like, what? Mm -hmm. And then we saw four years of what he did. We've already seen the template. We've already seen, like you just said, people are bailing. What was it? Something ridiculous like the numbers like 60 republican senators and congressmen would not uh would not cast their ballot to approve him to be their gop nomination they're right. like we're not we're not backing him so even within, even within his own party so being a reactionary country and we're not doing anything about it we have 2016 happen we know the game the game he hasn't changed his rhetoric in nine years it's gotten, still, it's gotten a little more dementia. It's, it's, more, it's gotten yeah. way dementia. It's yeah. got, it's but he has no plans. No. Hey, oh, yeah, oh, top, hey, hold on. <laughs> but he has concepts of plans. Concepts of plans. So the, the thing that makes me go, I cannot believe he won was because he, like you had said, he literally, Project 2025, literally was a handbook handed to the American people going, when we get into office, okay. like in 2016, you didn't know what he was They're going like, to do. Lube up. Lube up. That's what Project 2025 has lube up America. Yeah, he wasn't doing, he's like, I'm not sure what he's going to do. Let me, let's just see. Like some people, even including myself, we're a capitalist country. He's a businessman. He sucks at business, but let's see what he does rather than being a, a, a politician. Desecrated, fucking horrible job. But he moves in now with this Bible of the game plan that we all know. I know you didn't read it. It's 400 and something pages, but there's been plenty of information out there to see. Pages. Is it 900? It's 900 pages. I didn't read it. But I went and watched all of the stuff of the highlights of what it was going to do. And basically, they just said, we're starting this on January 1st. Yep. This is going to be our Bible. So if you're a Democrat and you're looking at this, or even a Republican who's conservative, fiscal or whatever your position is, but you're reading all of the other stuff, like the public education issue, dismantling the federal employees, getting rid of uh, cutting Medicare and Social Security. They're it's, gonna end it. Yeah, good luck with that. Then you're gonna have a series of how many desolate, homeless. But they don't uh, give a shit. They don't give, give a shit. shit. Right. They're well, that's because yes. By the I, way, if had they thought it through, they wouldn't have the plan. I, I, <laughs> as, as I forget to remember that I mean, it's a capitalist country and we don't matter. We're the collateral damage. Well, out of, of the 33 industrialized nations in the world, 33 countries, so 32 out of the 33 have figured out how to give everybody health care as a human right. Yeah. To quote Elon, there's going to be some hardships. There's, there's going to be, be some hardships. The 200 okay. billion guy went, you know what, guys, we're going to have to have some hardships. Um, so, okay. So, so Musk. So I, like, I had two Teslas. I bought the cars because the guy was saying he started out. I don't know if that was, a, it had to be a grift too, because he yes. said, we're going to change climate. We're going to, he goes, we, we, we are on our way. We have to get off this planet. We got to get to Mars. You know, we, we, we have to save this, this humanity. And I'm like, all right, that sounds like a good idea. I'm in. Bought two of the cars. Next thing I know, the guy moves to Texas and he became crazy. It's funny how you, you, as you get older and you get wiser, you realize that people just because they have money does not make them 
either moral or make them geniuses. Yeah. He may be, and he's also on the spectrum, which is why he doesn't seem to, you ever watch him tell a joke? You ever watch Elon Musk tell a joke? Oh yeah, it's like Ready? a robot telling Well, him. no, he's like, he's like, yeah. So, <laughs> he's <laughs> he laughs at it. It's, it's <laughs> the weirdest, <laughs> most uncomfortable thing yep. I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being human. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Working very hard to be human. And I, and I may have pulled that up. So where, so, Okay, so let's go over what what down the road is. Everyone's just he just got elected, so what? Ray said, Race called me and she goes, Am I crazy? I go, because I'm sitting here with my sister and her husband, who are hardcore right wingers. We don't talk about politics because she loves her sister and her and her and her brother in law. And uh she goes, They he got elected and no one had any they were just like, Oh yeah, in four years Sher uh, Sherrod Brown wants to run and he's kinda in the middle. I think it'd be all right. And they started talking about four years from now, the next election. And I and she goes, they don't know there's not going to be a next election. <laughs> and I go, and I go, yeah. And I go, I go, he said it. Yeah, he wants to, he wants unlimited. He's going to do what she did. He's going to do what everybody does. Yeah. yeah what Putin did. He's going to do that. And they're just talking like it's not going to happen. What's that day look like? What did he say? You, I'm if I'm elected, you'll never have to vote you'll again. Never have to vote again. Mm -hmm. It's like when he says these things, people just go, <laughs> and then it's like. Oh shit! He's you're not taking him serious until the day we're there, and then right. we're like, "Motherfucker, he said it! He mm -hmm. said it! Mm -hmm. He said it!" Mm -hmm. Well, Which the positive is, at least on our side, we we were on the right side of this all along, and we've been trying to warn everybody. So don't fucking come here and say, you know, we we didn't we from told day, you so from day one. No, well, they're gonna no, they're, we're gonna get a lot of like, ah, fuckers, he won, fuckers, ha, ha. oh, it's oh, already God yeah, yeah. bless, but God what? bless you, right? You 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 know what? You deserve what <laughs> you deserve it. You voted for him, you deserve it. Do do your quote, the quote that you started the opening. Oh with. man, I, yeah, I got I got to tell you, you uh, Thomas Jefferson. And this has made me feel a little better because this shit's happened to some degree before. Because Thomas Jefferson said, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, "You elect the government you deserve, and you guys who elected him, you deserve yeah. what's coming." Yeah, because this and, and you you deserve last time what was coming because you voted from last time. You guys don't even know what he did before we had COVID. And I've said it. We, I'm so tired of saying it because it doesn't. You know what I'm thinking, man? Maybe we should just quit the podcast because we have busted our ass to be. To, and the fucking media doesn't tell you. We tell you the truth every time, yep. and people just blow it off. Yep. We've been clear. I do research. We fucking give you facts. We give you. We cite. We cite all the information. And people are like, yeah, yeah, it's a good podcast. No, 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 motherfuckers. We're telling you the truth. Whereas Katie Tur on MSNBC is going, well, you know, I believe that maybe the Democrats. If had she just not gone after black males as much and made all brown people, I'm like, first of all, do you hear yourself? And second of all, you made the man sound fucking normal. He's not. They also he didn't. He wants to fuck his daughter. Oh, he also, they, they also didn't listen to the historians that said, he, that, you know, said he was the worst. His generals. They didn't listen to his generals. The guy he's hired. <laughs> yeah. They didn't listen to his vice president. The guy that the, the most night, like the most Christian dude ever, won't go to dinner with another woman. 